Welcome back to another episode of Cobweb Garage and we're back on the budget hot rod build. Last time we fitted the new cross member and also the engine mounts which are bolted in now which will be welded later. So I want to continue work on the chassis here and fit up the pedals. So I've got a couple of things to show you on the pedal front and uh, we'll see how it looks, but it does involve some more fabrication to hold the pedal box in place. So let's have a look at that. So this is the space the pedal box and master cylinder need to fit into and it's pretty tight. So you can buy some pedal boxes which are designed for these hot rods but they're pretty expensive but just doing some research i found this pedal box which is actually from uh, an austin rover mini classic mini i'm not sure of the exact models but i think in the minis they go this way around and it actually pushes on the master cylinder that way however my idea is to kind of re-engineer it and turn it round this way. So it'll be more like the Hot Rod Model A pedals. And I will cut most of this bracketry off and I may even have to adjust the pedals or the base of the pedals to make it work. But it will then sit into this space here. Like I say, the bracketry will be gone and the pedals will stick up there and then there will hopefully just about be room for a master cylinder and I've got this beast here which I believe are, are, is from a, a Ford Mustang or something like that it's a typical thing they use with these hot rods so I need to basically put these two things together to make them work and all fit into this tiny space so the pedal will sit somewhere like that with the master cylinder behind it, hopefully just about into that space. What I'm thinking of doing is having some metal from the frame here going across there to hold in the master cylinder and the pedal assembly. And then it'll come all the way back to the cross member we fitted in the last episode. And ideally for this metal, I'm thinking the C channel, 100 mil deep again, but I don't have any C channel. So I'm thinking this leftover box section from the cross member we made last time. I'm just gonna run a cutter all the way down the middle. So then I'll have two pieces of C-section. So that should work out pretty nice. Again, just using scrap metal that I've got left around. So just keep into the budget for this car. I think that'll work out pretty well. And it'll obviously, when I weld it into the cross member here, it's the perfect dimension. So the first job I think is to cut this piece of box section to make the two C sections. So I've got this box section cut all the way down the middle to give these two C-section pieces. I actually used three cutting discs, I think. I got through to cut all the way down there. Those one mil thick cutting discs, they don't last that long. And just cleaned up the edges a little bit. I'll get these bits out of the way for now. So I wanna run this C-section from the cross member down here, do a right angle and come to the frame there. So I'm gonna take some measurements and then I'm gonna chop this up into the right lengths. And I also need to cut out this old cross member and obviously support that transmission temporarily. Probably use those same blocks of wood. So let's get into that. Okay. 
Okay, I've been hacking away at this existing cross member, just cutting slots into it. Because if you notice here, it actually raises up from the rail. So my idea is to try and slip the C section. through there and that way I can get a good weld inside too. So I've done that on both sides. This side actually sort of kicks up here so I think I don't need to cut that off. I'll bring this C-section all the way through and it will come across here somewhere. So I just need to take some measurements. I need to offer up the master cylinder here and just find out the length that that C-section needs to be so I can cut that down. So I've got these two C-sections slotted in place. Pretty good. I've sort of just a little bit loose at the moment. Unfortunately, I did cut these legs off, which I could have left on. They would have actually fitted into the C-channel, but I can always weld in an extra piece there if need be. But look pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is just clean up all the edges ready for welding. And then I'll get everything nice and squared up and put some tack welds on. Next I'm going to make these return pieces which come from here to the frame rails. I've got these calf parts from the C-section. So I've got one ready in the chop saw here. Going to cut a 45 degree angle there and obviously cut it to length. these chopped out and that is going to slot into there so I just got to finish off the other side and then clean up all the chassis rails and the edges and get those tacked in As I've probably mentioned before, this frame is no way perfect. It's slightly twisted in here, so just got this elaborate contraption here. Just got a bit of bar G clamped on. And I used a ratchet strap and it's just pulled that frame a bit more square. Just tack welded that piece in there. I've also got some G clamps and a cross brace there just to keep all this level with the frame rails. So there's quite a lot going on there, but hopefully it's gonna straighten out the frame a bit. Of course, it's never gonna be perfect. Frames like 
you know, 90 years old or whatever, but this is just adding in so much strength to it. And of course, I've got adjustment with all the suspension parts as well, so I'm sure it's gonna go down the road nice and straight. Anyway, I'm just gonna probably fully weld these ones in before I release all this stuff. This side, I'm just gonna leave tacked in just in case I need to move it at all when I fit the pedals. finished all the welding on this part removed all that paraphernalia which was keeping the frame straight and I just lightly dusted a bit of black on the new bits of metal there a couple of reasons I didn't want it to sort of flash rust I mean it shouldn't do in this workshop but also it just looks so so bad because it was obviously scrap metal I used which was partly galvanized partly painted black just wanted to see the thing in a uniform black color and there we have it like i say this is still just tacked on this side because i'm not quite sure where the pedals are going to go end up exactly and the master cylinder this side i've fully welded up as much as i can but once everything is kind of complete i am going to pull this thing apart and then i'm going to wire brush the whole of the frame the chassis there do all the welds that need doing from the underside. All this paint will just all be wire brushed off anyway before final assembly. Really pleased with that. Next, I think I'm gonna put the body back on the chassis before offering up the pedals so I know exactly where that pedal box and master cylinder are gonna sit. And it's been a minute since that body's been on a chassis. So I just wanna see how everything is looking with those new cross members and the new metal work I put. Just make sure it's all looking right. So yeah, we're gonna lift that up in the air, slide the chassis underneath and see how it all sits together. It's good to see the body on the chassis again, but I've discovered an issue. If you remember last time we set this engine in its final place, which is all related to where this fan sits close to the radiator there but it did move the engine back and the engine with the engine touching the firewall there basically the body is sticking too far back actually the camera makes it look worse than it is but if i get my tape measure i'm assuming this is the center line and the axle it's 50 or 60 mil too far back I'm going to need to basically recess this firewall, which is quite common. I think most people have to do that. I was hoping not to have to do that. But that is going to be another episode, I think, because I just want to carry on and get these pedals done, which doesn't really affect me too much. I do have to be a little bit careful. The firewall will get recessed, the body will go forward. So I think I've, I'm going to end up with roughly the space that I've got now for that pedal box to sit and be functional just offered this pedal assembly up and this is where it will sit hopefully you can make sense of all this as i've mentioned before i'm going to cut most of this bracket away the whole thing needs to come up a bit at the moment the pedal is going to hit on this bell housing here but i think if it comes up another maybe 30 or 40 mil i think it will miss that but at the moment all this excess bracket top and bottom is stopping me putting it in the right position so i think i'm going to just pull this out cut the existing bracket down and just see if it will work i'm just going to get in the car as well and just see how it looks with my feet in the seat in position going to be kind of interesting getting in here with uh, all this reinforcement metal work in the way let's just see if I climb up on there so this is roughly where I'd be sitting, here's the door. If I can just move this pedal box over, just another sort of 30 mil that way, that would just give me room for an accelerator pedal there. Obviously I can sort of adapt the position of these existing pedals here, bend them, but 
yeah, I think if I just move it over and it's pretty good leg room here. Quite comfortable seating position. Just got a block of wood now just to raise me up to what will probably be the height of the seat. Here's the existing bracket for the pedal box. I think I'm just gonna chop this part off to start with and then I'm gonna mirror this side because I found that this side was kind of fouling on the bell housing there. So I'm gonna copy this side and just cut this down for now, a bit more space. And then eventually I'm just gonna chop the whole of this front part off uh, and then weld a new plate on with the holes to accept the master cylinder. So there's quite a lot of just chopping this down to start with. Still not 100% sure this is gonna work, but it didn't cost a lot for this. So let's give it a go and uh, see what we come up with. So I cut off a lot of the old bracket there and just got this G clamped into position. But you can see how that works. There you've got your clutch pedal, which goes all the way down to the firewall, just misses the bell housing. I mean, it's tight. And there's your brake pedal there as well. I just need to get the exact height because that needs to push on the master cylinder and the master cylinder obviously can't stick up above the floor or maybe an inch because I'll probably put some inch floor supports across. So it can stick up just a tiny bit and I'll have a cover plate here to get to the master cylinder. But I think that's gonna work. So I'm just gonna confirm that the height and obviously the rest of this bracket will be cut off but I wanna weld a plate onto it because if I cut this bit off, the bracket's just gonna like fall apart. So it's gonna take a couple of more measurements. Yeah, and go from there. Sunday, Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. Thursday, Friday, happy days. The weekend comes with cycle hands. Ready to race to you. These days are ours. Happy and free. These days are ours. Share them with me. Goodbye, grey sky. Hello, blue. Nothing can hold me when I hold you. Feel so right. So I cut a hole there and a couple of bolt holes and that is how the master cylinder is going to connect up. I've left this a bit oversized this plate because I can cut it down. But that pedal assembly is going to go on there. And I'm going to just tack weld it on, I think, for now. I might just chop the legs off this bracket a bit more, tack it, just in case I do need to move it at any point. just under the car here and just looking at where this master cylinder is going to sit and I've just marked out because I need to cut into this section it's kind of a good job really because I cut this a little bit short but I am just going to cut this out notch it out and I might just have to extend this piece down or I think that metal I've used for the pedal box is so so strong I could probably just bolt it up there actually but I do need to just notch this out for the master cylinder sit and I think I need to notch a bit of this one out as well just so it fits in there that pedal assembly has been a hell of a lot of work in the end but let's go and have a look and see how I got on hopefully you can see that okay there is the master cylinder 
and I did have to trim quite a bit out of this piece and it sticks up slightly above the chassis but only like 10 or 15 mil and I'm going to have inch box section across here to support the floor anyway so that will be just under there and what I'm proposing to do is have a removable piece here it'll be part of the floor but it'll just have some screws and that'll be our lift off so then I can top up the master cylinder as required and the pedals obviously nothing's connected yet and I need to make some alterations on the bottom half of the pedals I possibly as well need to where that, ang that pedal angles over I might probably have that straight have them slightly closer together and that should just about give me room to put a throttle pedal in there I'm quite pleased underneath because the actual master cylinder just sticks down probably 20 mil or so this plays part of the pedal box and I've left it long but I will just trim that down so like I say the whole thing won't stick below the frame rails very much at all pretty neat I need to make this mechanism here from the pedal into the master cylinder That's it for this episode of Cobweb Garage. Super pleased to have this pedal box and master cylinder fitted into the frame. Not quite finished off yet. There's a few bits that are just tacked in place, but that's another step forward. And I want to thank you all very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram. And we have merchandise which we ship all around the world. T-shirts, hoodies, vests, etc. See you on the next one. Cheers.